Okay, guys, we're back in the mansion. The underground mansion. I have no idea how this place was built down here. I'm also curious if there are more enemies since I was just in here. It doesn't look like it, but I wouldn't count on it. So now that I have the emblem key, I can kind of... Hmm. That's marking that as my next destination, but... I don't think I want to go there yet. There are plenty of other doors, at least I thought there were, that required the uh, emblem key, so... I'm just going to explore for a minute here. Want to make sure that I... Whoa! always kind of a mystery as to where their weak spot will be. There was a monster like that hiding in here earlier. Super creepy. Alright, let's try this room. Yikes. Tourniquet, sure, why not? Ooh, a rare parts box. Sometimes exploring pays off. Rifle ammo, really? Let me, hmm. I'm going to toss the smoke powder and I'll toss a cloth. Because ammo is definitely important. Well, very cool. I'm glad I found that rare parts box. That's way cool. I wonder what it contains. I can't remember, seems like we came across a workbench at some point. I think it was down in the lower levels. I can't recall what was down these steps. Oh yeah, that just takes you more into the experiment area. The, we'll call it the operation room. I think I'm going to make my way back to the main entrance of the mansion here. Hopefully I don't run into any more creatures. I've been going through... I was so excited that I was finally finding... A lot more ammo and stuff for my handgun and as you can see I've been using it I'm down to 11 rounds okay so this door over here is unlocked now and it's kind of my shortcut between the two I would like to go through it yeah here we go the workbench is just going to be right down here It'll be like Christmas morning. We'll get to open up our rare parts box. Here we are. Charge shot level one. Really? I found one of those before and I... 
Eh. I don't know. It just... I guess I can put it there. Why not? I'm disappointed. Okay, back to the mansion, guys. Back to the mansion. I'm giving Barry a workout. He's getting in his cardio for sure. Alright, well, I already explored that other room that required the emblem key. So I think now I can... Approach the next door here. This is our destination. There's the little blue dot. Let's check it out. That's a cool grandfather clock. A ruby. Nice. Let's see if we can find some handgun ammo. Nice. Five rounds. Very cool. Any other... what was this? Yeah, it sounds like they're all pretty much in love with Alex. Uh, really? It's one o'clock. Looks like there's a chest here. But I'm kind of freaked out because there's like glowing mist coming from it, so. Another rare parts box? You're kidding. Alright guys, you know I won't make you watch me run all the way back over there again. I'm going to do a quick edit. And when we get back, we will be continuing through that door. Alright guys, we're back. So I went down to the workbench to check out my new rare parts box. And it was a burst upgrade. And since I don't use the... Assault rifle, machine gun, it really doesn't do any good for me. Oh, what do we have here? Level 2 security card. And assault rifle ammo, lame. Oh, handgun ammo. Nice. See if there's any hidden objects in here. Doesn't look like it. Well, cool. Now we can have access into the security level two. Oh my gosh. No, get off me, man. Stay there, dude. I want you to get blown up by that decoy bottle. Yeah. That was a close call. Little too close for comfort. That was a good jump scare though. It kind of freaked me out. So he came through this vent. Wow. Earlier in the game when it was towards the area and when we were in the factory playing as Claire and Moira, there was all these creepy vents everywhere and I just kept saying that that would be the perfect spot for a, a monster to drop down from.
I'm trying to see where my next destination is pointing me to. I think I have to leave the mansion and go back down over by where the workbench is. Man, let me... There. I was gonna say, I am super low on handgun ammo again. <laughs> Seems to be a continuing trend for this episode. All right. Well, too bad. If I had known that we were going to be finding that key card soon, I would have waited to come down here, but here we go. I'm kind of scared. You must be exhausted, Natalia. Need a break? I'm okay, Barry. Thanks anyway. Some alcohol. I don't see any hidden items. I certainly haven't seen any tower emblems. Makes me wonder where they're all hiding. Okay, it looks like we're gonna do a little pipe crawling action here. I don't know, I've got a bad feeling about this. There's blood everywhere. There's bound to be enemies. I don't know. So far, this level has, or this episode, I should say, has lasted for quite a while. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been pretty fun seeing kind of a blending of different Resident Evil themes. Oh, really? An empty bottle and some rifle ammo. Nice. I hope you guys don't break out. But yeah, I, I really like that they're kind of mashing up just different... Oh, cool, you can crack that open. Different themes from the different Resident Evil games, like we got to go into a mansion setting again, so that was fun. I'm going to discard those cloths. I just haven't used them. Um, I'm going to do some combining here. I'm going to make a, let's see, I can make a firebomb or a decoy bottle. I'm going to make a decoy. I really like the decoy bottles. And I will pass Barry the ammo. And I'll pass on that other bomb too. Do a little bit of reloading for all of my weapons. Okay, I think we're good to go. 